Trump just got the 270 electoral votes, which is the number he needs to officially win the presidency. Electoral colleges all across the country are casting votes today. In some states, anti-Trump protesters gathered, hoping to deny Trump the White House. And Indiana electors cast all 11 votes for Donald Trump for president and Mike Pence for vice president, also receiving unanimous support. That vote was met with some resistance from protesters who held anti-Trump signs in the hallway outside the House chambers. Inside, state leaders went ahead with the Electoral College voting process despite the demonstration outside. I've been involved in politics for almost 50 years in Indiana. Uh, deeply involved for a lot of those years. I've never seen anything like this. When you have uh, Donald Trump and Mike Pence uh, win by 19 points. It's, uh, you know, the people of Indiana spoke loud and clear. None of the Indiana electors were expected to buck the party, considering this is Vice President-elect Mike Pence's home state.